Hello, yes, Nick Griffin has destroyed British nationalism. That's right. I don't like making these videos, but I think people need reminding Nick who's responsible for what happened to the BNP and the mess we find ourselves in with the comedy sketch, pantomime and circus, violence, confrontation, and the whole the whole lot, right, that we're now faced with. We've been reduced to ridicule, comedy level, violent thugs, dangerous people with dangerous ideas because the BNP is being destroyed. You see, had you kept hold of the BNP and not handed it to Hope Not Hate Spies, um, Adam Walker, Clive Jefferson, the BNP would still be a force to be reckoned with. And even if it lost all its officials due to UKIP popularity, we'd have had them back. But even if we didn't, we would still be a fighting force our enemies would be frightened of and scared of. And also, we'd still have the respect, probably, of millions of uh, Brits. But you handed it over to the enemy. So the pantomime, the circus, the comedy sketch, the confrontation and violence has been able to flourish because there's no... Mother party, if that's the word, that can lead the way and show uh, the disaffected that, listen, don't be getting involved in the Tommy Robinson Road so, or the uh, Luke Nash Jones nonsense with his videos and all the rest of it. Come on board with the real party. That means business. But that now is not happening because you've passed it over to the enemy. And even more sad or even bizarre, or maybe more devious on your side. I don't know. You're with another Hope Not Hates by Jack Sen. It is breathtaking, this. You're either extremely dumb or you're a devious fucker that's probably using Jack Sen for your own aims. I don't know. You tell me. I've yet to have an email off you. I've never had an email off you or a message off you saying, yeah, you're right about the BMP. You're wrong about the BMP. Nothing. Silence from you. Shameful, really. Right, but that's indicative of you, isn't it? You know, I mean, you're coming out with this fucking reconquista nonsense. Uh, they're gonna isolate the kids from the, you know, the, the, the liberal poison and it's fantasy world. We've got enough white people in this country to turn this around. We don't have to wait a hundred years. We've got enough to do it now, but you don't want to do it now because there's no Euro fact check, is there? There's no money in British nationalism now. And that's what this is all about. It's not that you believe in that bollocks, fucking reconquista. Get real. They're going to have kids and isolate their kids and they're all going to live in, I don't know, whatever part of Britain and this secret community or secret individuals is planning this 100-year quest programme. It's that stupid. It shows you the contempt you have for people. You know, because that's what it is. None of us know what's going to happen in this country. Not even me, right? Let alone you with your reconquista. So you've destroyed British nationalism. Maybe you get some perverse pleasure watching these videos and you're, you're laughing at what you've done. I don't know. I just don't know. But you're not a man with... What's the word for it? You don't seem to have a, a streak of honour down or a bone in your body, if that's the right description. Do you? You, you? you don't because I couldn't sleep at night if I'd done what you'd done. I really, really couldn't. You've destroyed British nationalism and you're sitting in the background now with your conspiracy theories and all the rest of the nonsense that no one gives a toss about. And if we're all finished and it's too late, we've got to wait for 100 years for Reconquista. What are you bothered even posting on Facebook, Twitter and podcasts and whatever? What are you wasting your time doing all that for then? If it's finished, if I knew it was finished, I'd be out there now enjoying myself in the hedonistic society. Because trust me, I could, right? That's what I'd be doing. But I don't believe it is all finished. We've got enough people here now to do it, right? But you fucked it up, right? That's what you've done. You haven't got the decency. You haven't got a, a honourable bone in your body, right? To even admit this, you know, you're making excuses all the time. That's what you do. And it's a cop house and the enemy does indeed fear you. And I'll be the first to say that. Whatever much as I condemn you, I do believe they do fear you. And that's where they're keeping you in this little playpen of nonsense and baloney. And maybe you're happy to stay there until there's another big paycheck uh, from British nationalism. I don't know, but you, you... You need to, to do something because we're in this mess because of you. But anyone wants to look at those uh, 
Luke Nash Jones videos. Go and have a look. Make Britain great again. They're idiotic, the clownish, the stupid. Invading left-wing bookshops. What for? Who, who are you recruiting in there? Well, exactly. Talking to lefties and they can't answer the questions. They're all tongue-tied and makes him look clever and smart. And all the dafties fall for it. It really is amazing what's happened. Not in the sense of what's happened to the BMP, but the gullibility of people. Christ, you know, we are in a mess, aren't we? If the fall of Luke Nash Jones, Christ. Okay, thank you.